The internet was a buzz yesterday when news broke out that Beyonce was joining the MCU and the rumors were flying left and right. She could be Storm because she loves to cross-dress as Storm when she does a lot of her cosplay and things of that nature. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna give you the truth in this video. And if you're ever looking for the real truth, when I'm not feeling like doing a conspiracy, you can come to this channel. Or you can check out my man, E-Man's Reviews. We'll break it all down in this video. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to turn on the notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Also, subscribe to my man, E-Man. I will have his link in the video description. He's my go-to source for all things Marvel and Hollywood because he sifts through, spends a lot of time finding where the real truth is. Now let's hear what he had to say about Beyonce joining the MCU. According to initial reports, Beyonce was in talks to be doing some projects with Disney. It was reported that it would be about three projects for about $100 million. Now I actually went back and followed this back to the original source which was the sun.co.uk, and they said that the singer will appear on the soundtrack for Black Panther 2. Now, right after that happened, this weird thing of, like, the telephone game happened, where other websites and YouTube channels, they jumped on that report and kind of, like, omitted some things and only said that Beyonce's involved in a Black Panther project. Some have gone on to speculate. Beyonce has a role in Black Panther 2, and some have even gone on to say that Black Panther 2 is going to have Beyonce play Storm. First of all, how dare you? Second of all, Storm deserves an actress that can actually act. Third of all, how dare you? Thankfully, senior film writer at Variety has followed up on these reports, and his sources have said that there is no big Disney deal for Beyonce, and that she will not contribute to the soundtrack for Black Panther 2. Whew. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is no truth in it as of now, just a big rumor. And you oftentimes hear these massive YouTube channels, they run with the rumors. And then when me and E Man and Larry of today, I feel like, try to give you guys the real truth, y'all be coming for our next talking about we the conspiracy theory or we the clickbait. When we get our information from my guy E Man, he's a friend of the show, he's been on the show. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. Check him out. He does a great job on all things Hollywood and movies. Now, the only concern that I have, and this is kind of a joke, but it's really, really true. I mentioned to my man E-Man on his Instagram, bruh, you might done stepped in it with the beehive. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to say, beehive, don't come for our next. We're trying to give you guys the truth. Would you rather hear it from some other people in social media lying and then you're thinking Beyonce gonna show up and she never does then you blame Marvel as if it's their fault or would you rather get the truth from some good brothers who enjoy Beyonce for what her talents are and who love to bring you good solid information I say Beehive chill out don't come for my neck don't come for my man E-Man neck but there is no truth in Beyonce joining the MCU at any capacity as of now we will follow this story and keep you guys posted. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself a life gain. Subscribe to my man E-Man Reviews. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.